Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a cooking video today. Um, I had, you know, I've moved out of my house. I am full time now. And I had a big crock pot and I got rid of that because it wouldn't fit in the truck camper. So I did go to Walmart and I bought me a little bitty crock pot. Oh, right here. And I don't know how many quarts or whatever, but um, it was like ten dollars it was like ten dollars for this crock pot and yes it's little but I'm just cooking for one so I am gonna be doing a crock pot meal so what I'm cooking right now is some ground turkey this is gonna be a turkey actually it's a Mexican turkey casserole or something I'm just browning up the turkey and I want to show you this I know that doesn't look like ground turkey, but I'm cooking it in a pot, and it's got a lot of water, but I got this at Walmart in one of those tubes, ground turkey, and it was like $1.98 for this pound. Now, that is cheap compared to a ground beef or something like that. Ground beef, I mean, is like four something starting at three or four dollars, but if you get the the ones that like 90% lean and all that, um, it, it gets up there close to six dollars a pound. Um, at least where I I bought this. So you know, a lot of people don't like ground turkey, but I will tell you what: if you will do ground turkey and the spices, and you put it with like spaghetti sauce or a casserole or something, you'll never tell the difference. If you're that picky, like on um, burgers or something, yeah, there's going to be a, a difference. It's a little drier. Um, and see, this isn't grease, really. This is water, which I'm going to pour that off. I'm just going to let this brown, and then I'll show you what I'm putting in my turkey casserole. Um, turkey. I had some enchilada sauce in the truck camper for some reason. Not that I would really cook enchiladas, but I had it in here, so I'm going to use it. So I looked for a recipe for turkey and enchilada sauce, and this is what. It also called for quinoa, and I'm not sure that I have quinoa, quinoa with me, so I may just do some, I don't know, maybe some rice. That'll work. And this is water because it's just boiling off, so I'm just going to let it boil and get rid of the water. And then I'll throw it into the um, crock pot. Let me say too that this is kind of a clean out your refrigerator day to get rid of some things. I am going to the grocery store tomorrow, so I wanted to use up these things. Um, I, had, I don't have any bell pepper. So I'm just going to use a zucchini that I had. And I'm going to half this recipe because obviously this is a tiny um, crock pot. So I'm going to just put some of the meat in the crock pot. I'll save the rest for like tacos. I'm going to only use probably a half of the zucchini. So I've got that cut up. And I need some onion. What did I do with the onion? Okay, I'm going to add a half a cup of rice, the zucchini. I already put the onions in there. Um, some corn. This is dehydrated corn, which I'm going to be using that. And some garlic. Also, one can of um, black beans, which I think I'm just going to use a half a can. And then I'll put this with the, the other half a can with the other part of the the rest of the turkey and I'll freeze that and that's just going to be basis for tacos red enchilada sauce and tomato sauce so it calls for garlic powder and um, chili powder and cumin that's what that is camino and a half a cup of water so I'm gonna just probably fill up the rest of it with water but there it is in a little bitty tiny crock pot. Here's the leftover um, turkey, ground turkey cooked up and then the black beans. So I'm going to just put that in a baggie and put that in the freezer and 
I'll have tacos. Actually, I think I'm going to even divide it. And then I'll be able to pull one out and probably get several meals on it and several meals on that. So, Okay, it's been about four hours and this has been cooking. And I took the lid off and it smell it smells like enchiladas, I guess, because of the enchilada sauce, but that looks good. Put some of this in a bowl, put a little bit of cheese on it, a little bit of Texas peat, and that's supper. And that's the finished product. That's I've put a slice of avocado on top and a little bit of shredded cheese and that is a enchilada Mexican style casserole with my own twist to it. Pretty good. All right, got to go. I do want to say that the rice is not completely done. And it's been more like three, three and a half hours. So I'm going to let it go probably another hour and a half or so to make sure the rice gets done. Because it's a little crunchy still.